Fantastic. Oh, I've just been swimming over the Opal Reef, which is part of the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland. It is a magnificent sight down there. You know, people have been puzzled for thousands of years about the formation of coral reefs. For a long time, they thought there was some sort of plant growth from below. It isn't. The coral polyps themselves are definitely animals. And this reef that stretches along the coast of Queensland for 2,000 kilometres has been formed over millions of years by billions of those little coral polyps. See, when they grow, they take in food and they form around their bodies stony limestone cases. And it's those cases that build up and form the reef. But people weren't sure whether it was growing up from below or out from the land or what, until a scientist called Charles Darwin came up with a theory about 150 years ago. Let's imagine that this is the sea. We have some land here, which is poking up out of the sea. Now Darwin said, after journeying around the world, it seems that where the water is warm and shallow and the land slopes down, you sometimes get a rim or a shelf of coral forming around that land. Now sometimes it's quite a narrow shelf, sometimes it's a wider shelf. But he suggested that what was happening in those regions, almost always, is that the land was act actually sinking very slowly, taking millions of years to do it, but sinking nonetheless. And he observed that very often the reef shelf wasn't joined onto the land, but it was actually standing out a little bit. You see, the shelf, whether it's attached to the land or whether it's standing out like that, called a barrier reef, the shelf is right at about where the tide comes. So in high tide, it may be submerged, in low tide, it just pokes out the top. But the little coral animals themselves can't live if they're out of the water all the time. So that's how the reef forms, he suggested, because the land is submerging, and as it does so, the shelf may get wider and wider. In some cases, the land submerges altogether, and you're left with just a ring of coral. That's called a coral atoll. And some of these are large, some are small, and they're found in the Pacific and the Indian Oceans. They're very beautiful indeed. But coming back to Australia, we're really at that middle stage there where you have the land there, a gap of water, and then the barrier reef out here. You might say, wait a minute, that barrier reef doesn't go all the way around Australia. No, of course it doesn't because the conditions are only right for coral growth off the coast of Queensland. So if you looked at all of this from above, you'd see a strip of reef, sometimes above the surface, sometimes below the surface, just along the coast of Queensland. Not all the way around Australia, but it does go for a mighty long way, around about 2,000 kilometres, and it's one of the most beautiful parts of this country.